Hi Aries, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your April 2021 tarot reading. This is for all Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And if you are new to the channel, welcome to you. Um, I post new readings on Friday and then again on Monday or Tuesday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, you can always check back in a couple of days. Check a different part of your chart or even... You know, you can kind of tool around some of the Monday readings because they are different formats on Mondays than from Friday. And happy birthday to all of you celebrating your season. I hope you are off to a wonderful start and have all the best coming to you. So, um, and two, I want to thank you all for everything you do for the channel, from watching readings, liking, commenting, and of course, subscribing. And I'd like to invite anyone who hasn't subscribed to join us and you'll know if there's announcements made. So... Let's begin and get the guidance for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Aries need to know, please? What messages do you have for Aries? Okay. All right, we'll begin here with the tarot, then we will use the angel answers, oracle cards too. So your current position, you've got the Knight of Wands. The immediate influence is the Page of Cups. You've got the Three of Cups in your destiny. The Ace of Cups is in the distant past. The Death card is in the more recent past. You have the Eight of Wands coming towards you. You're represented by the Lovers. Now, the person or situation you're dealing with is the Three of Swords. You've got the Seven of Pentacles in the Hopes and Fears. you got the Nine of Pentacles. All right, this is kind of interesting. In the outcome... Um, now, your clarifiers here are the Ten of Swords and the Two of Wands. I feel like what they're trying to tell you, you're taking an inventory of your life and you're moving forward and you may be, you may be making a decision here about a relationship um, to move on to something else, okay? Or, or it may be about past healing and something that ended, but there definitely was an ending here. I can't, you can't argue with that. You got the Death card, the Ten of Swords, the Three of Swords. There was definitely a painful ending. There is a painful ending in this re in this reading, but you've got communication, you've got celebration, and you've got the lovers here. So you definitely have a soulmate here, and it may require letting go of something. For some of you, though, if it's work related, again, there's the Nine of Pentacles represents a lavish lifestyle. So it really is sort of like sculpting this vision of your life and letting go of anything. That does not serve you. There's something here with that Ten of Swords that represents being burdened, being, it feels like um, almost kind of guilted into doing things that are not part of your path anymore, all right? And maybe it's not, like I said, it might not be a relationship necessarily, but I feel like you're making changes in your life where you're just not going to participate in things that don't feel good to you. It really is a lot to do with vibrational stuff. It's not a match. It'll feel so hard to be involved in things that are not your match. So you've got here Scorpio, you've got Gemini, you have Fire, Aries, Leo, Sag, you've got Water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, you've got all the elements because you have Earth and you have um, Air here too. So your current situation, especially if you've been single, you've got a development coming. You've got the Page of Cups. Again, it's developing energy. It's kind of a fun, flirty energy, lighthearted, that sort of getting to know you energy or in a relationship too. It can be even sort of breathing life back into it, doing things that are fun. The Knight of Wands though is moving forward with something and it is a little bit of a, um, there's a little bit of an urgency to this, all right? It feels exciting. It feels like this rush of energy, this you know, and it's it's like, you know, when you think about, you know, when you're madly in love and you look at how did how did I think my life was then? You didn't feel like you had problems. I mean, most people don't, right? And so it's that kind of energy where it's like nothing seems to really bother you when you're in this energy field. It really does feel like there's great momentum here. The page of cups can be a um for some of you, it may be you may have reconciliation with something that ended too. I will throw that out there with the Three of Cups, this page, and also that Eight of Wands there, and even the Three of Swords. Um, but I feel like, again, it's going to be up to you if it's a reconciliation for you. But with this, though, it can be a chance encounter. So for some, it may feel, of course, we know that we're attracting, but it feels like a chance encounter. You're in a high vibrational place, and there they are. And that's how that is. So with this, you've got the Three of Cups in your destiny. It's a card of 
celebration. It's a card of having fun. You're in this energy cycle where you're going to have many social opportunities. You're going to have people wanting to go out and have coffee or a drink or, you know, go to a walk or, hey, I'm in this fitness class. I want you to come with me. It kills you and you're going to love it. You know, it's that kind of stuff where you're going to feel like almost to the point where it's almost too busy. I feel like you're going to be turning invitations away in this energy. Um, you're fun to be around. People like Aries. You're an uplifter. You're bold. You're not afraid to do things. You know, you're, you're the one that says, yeah, okay, I'll go sky diving with you. Why not? Let's go bungee jumping, right? And so it's that kind of energy where people like your vitality. They're attracted and drawn to your vital, vibrant energy, that boldness. And so, you know, with the Three of Cups, it's a great appreciation and energy of appreciation. And as you appreciate those people around you, you will attract more of them to you. So if you've had something that's been burdensome, it really is about shifting and, and looking at the people and situations around you that are are uplifting, are fun, are attractive. And so you're going to generate more of that. So again, I mentioned before, it does feel like there's been an ending somewhere. In the distant past, you had the Ace of Cups. And it's, you know, it's a commitment that feels like it's never going to end. You know, it's like, wait a minute, this wasn't supposed to end. It was the Ace of Cups. How, how in the world, right? But it is a feeling of uh, deep love and eternal love. And again, I mentioned for reconciliation, folks, you have that here. So if that's for you, it's showing up in the past that it may have felt like I said before, when you're in love and you're in this high vibrational place and it seems like you're untouchable, right? There's no problems. The flat tire doesn't matter. The overdue bill is whatever, you know, it's that kind of stuff. And so with this, um, there was a beginning here for sure. And it felt like... Um, you know, it felt like everything. And so if it was a job for you, though, because this can be other things, it doesn't have to be love. Again, it's feeling really in flow, really connected with something. And so feeling like this work, this job is the one, you know, it'll be the one for life. And so at some point, something changed. You did have a shift and it's transformative, though. You know, it's like letting, I look at that little boat in the back with the sail, right? And the, the wind behind that sail is the universe pushing the boat forward. It's really symbolic. The death card symbolizes transformation, but there's so many different symbols. And that for me is, is for you in this reading. It's that universe pushing you, giving the wind behind your sails and saying, go this way, go this way. And so when you're in alignment, it, you get these sudden impulses to do things and you go, God, I don't know where the hell that came from. Well, it came from your higher self and your higher self is a skeleton, right? So the higher self says, let go. And if it's, again, if it's a relationship that you say, I do not want that back, it's time to let go because there's something about it that's still active in your vibration. And it's time to let go of it and let it be done because there's something else here. Again, with a job too, though, it's whatever needs to end for you. They're being very clear about that because you're being guided to the light. And, you know, again, in our lives, that contrast, experiencing that contrast is what leads us to the expansion. And I know it feels like a high price to pay sometimes, but I think as we get better as, at being deliberate creators, you start to get that. You know, when you say, I paid the price of contrast, what's next? How can this get any better? And the next thing you know, here it comes. So... With this, you've got the Eight of Wands, and it is the Arrows of Love. So you've got communication coming in, for sure. And it may, again, it may seem like it just turns on a dime. You know, like it's all of a sudden out of nowhere, there's this revelation or communication that comes in for you. And it leads to, um, for, for some of you, it's going to lead to love, for sure. I mean, you've got quite a few cards here, but even in your destiny position, you know, when we start to look at these together... It, there's reunion, there's celebration, there's communication, and it's definitely moving forward. And it's an important change for you. It's something that's significant. It's not just some little thing, you know, where, um, you know, you, you meet somebody in passing and never see them again. It's like, this is really about to change and become more for you. It's that expansion. So you're represented by the lovers. Of course, you know, we know this one, right? It's, um, you're being divinely guided and you do have in the cards I look around you do have a couple of sunrises anytime the sun appears in a card it's always an indication that the universe is bringing in gifts it's an alignment and it's a positive change for you 
It's a very important relationship, whatever this is for you, Aries. It's something that really changes your life path. It changes how you look at things. It 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 sculpts who you are, but it's uplifting energy. It's you know, it's um um Adam and Eve, but there is in this, there is an obstacle, and I definitely feel like it, the reconciliation folks are trying to tell you there's some obstacle, but you can overcome it, whatever that is for you. For new love, though, it feels like it's more about just letting go of the past, anything that still holds your heart, you know, something that still kind of smarts. It's time to just know that that was part of your story, but it's not the end. And so with this, it feels like home. It feels like that homecoming. It feels like the Ace of Cups, if it would have sustained itself, you know, it's really tied to that energy. So I mentioned before, you know, if you're in something and it's ending or you've already ended it, it's here, uh, but it's acceptance of a situation. So again, for those of you that have been kind of hung up on something, it's going, you're going to be moving past that. Or if you've been uncomfortable in a job and wanting to know about more, the Ace, the Three of Swords, I hope I didn't call it the Ace, if I did, I, pardon me. Um, the Three of Swords is really about that heartache, but with acceptance of it. So it's not staying here, you know. And so with this, it's a card of connecting to your higher self. You know, that's the antidote. You connect and your soul doesn't see it like this. The soul does not see our, you know, pain that we experience on the conscious level and the mind level the same way that we do with the mind, right? And so, you know, Einstein said, right, you can't solve a problem with the same mind that created it. You've got to get into that higher realm of thinking. Now, some of you are in this contemplative energy of what's next for me with the Seven of Pentacles. I do feel like money's good, especially those of you that are looking for a career change. There's more money available to you, and it's time to start looking and take some action um, because there's, it's, you know, it's the manifestations cultivated in the garden of the mind. They're showing up all around you. So look around you. If you're getting unexpected money from places or you're finding that you've put in time into work and effort into work and you're seeing a result, there are other opportunities available to you. Same thing really with the relationship too, though. But I do see the seven of pentacles for some of you um, and leading into the nine as an investment in yourself. Now, the Nine of Pentacles is a single lady card, but nines are the end of a cycle. She lives a lavish lifestyle, though, okay? She's kind of married to her money a little bit. And so, Aries, I feel like in the last year, you've had a lot of great money readings. So, some of you, it's just an indicator that money stays very solid and strong. But you do have loyal people around you. And so, um, you know, she's not fearful of somebody getting a hold of her Pentacles. She knows they are hers. It's really about, too, feeling good, looking good. She's confident and secure and again, abundant. And, you know, you've got this beautiful, abundant energy where, again, I feel like you have a lot of social invitations going on. Um, and in terms of a love relationship, you have it here. But I feel like you have a lot of power in the situation, maybe even more than you realize um, that this person has a has you to some extent on a pedestal okay because the nine of pentacles she doesn't have anybody above her she does not see other people that way so i do feel like you're in coming into this place i get the word austere you know it's this very regal austere energy but it's feeling confident it's feeling that expansion in a way that you own that you know so let's see what the uh angels have to say here for aries And let's do one more. There we go. Oops. All right. So we have here. And a yes, no, maybe. Just trying to get those middle cards. Here we go. Listen to your intuition. So let your intuition be your guide. Your higher self is in the reading, so your higher self is trying to communicate with you. Meditate, quiet your mind, listen for your dreams, look for those synchronicities. And when you have those synchronicities, like I said before, you'll get little intuitive hits that say, hey, go over here. You know, I think I should go here today. And the next thing you know, things start to come into fruition for you. And sometimes when we're not paying attention to it as much, that's really when it really takes form. 
if you believe. So ask, believe, receive, Aries. The universe wants to bring in gifts. You've got it in the cards in the tarot too, that there are gifts, unexpected money or money, like I said, that's in in reaction or response to things you put out there. It's up to you. We said that, didn't we, with the single lady? There's definitely a vibe of this, of you having p power. I just you can't say it enough. I mean, there's something about this where I feel like um, you've just got this energy field that is attracting people. So they say not the right time. So I do with that nine of pentacles also kind of wondered because you're, ha you're having fun in the meantime. So there may be something about that where there's not going to be a huge change necessarily um, right at this exact time, but there's definitely abundance here. And so for some of you, it may be just about having fun in the meantime. And again, with the page of cups here, that's developing energy. So again, it may be on the development, but it may not happen exactly now. And it's part of that is as it's allowed to cultivate and develop, the manifestation is greater when it comes to fruition because you have a yes. And it's that hell yes, it's like the energy of the sun. You create your own reality here. So you can have, do, or be anything because it's really you become your thoughts, right? So I love you, Aries, and I'll be back again soon.